the fact that it is the last coal-fired power station in the country, uh, then that in itself is a, a landmark event. It has been here for the last 50, 60 years. It is uh, quite a, a physical landmark. You either love or hate it, and I think most people love the, the sight of the cooling towers. Everybody knows the cooling towers for the people who live locally in the area, whether they're coming home on the train or on the motorway. When they see the cooling towers, then they say, we're nearly home now. Things have to move on, and there has to be new investment, and we want to make sure that the site is well used in the future. We hope that it will be redeveloped for energy production and creating new high-tech employment uh, jobs. Whether it's uh, creating green energy, uh, whether it's a gigafactory, and we're talking about tens of thousands of new jobs to be created by creating what's called a local development order for the site. And that involves also making sure that we include local infrastructure and transport. That will will be the wider debate that needs to take place. That's where other investment, central government, regional government, we have the free port, which is already created. It's the only free port in the country which is inland as opposed to being on a coastal port. We hope that will attract additional investment. It's really close to East Midlands Airport. It's close to the motorway, the M1. It's right next to a mainline railway. So all those transport connections are there. We hope that it will be a great employment site for the future. We all need to make sure that there is the right infrastructure in place to support this big site.